planes have long been a source of fascination and great danger. How can you take advantage of the Saffir-Simpson hurricane scale to know the level of danger if you're a potential victim of a hurricane? This scale is on a rating from 1 to 5. 1 is the least destructive storm. A category 5 storm would be the most destructive. Let's take a look at the various categories and see what each one of them means. These numbers let us know how destructive the hurricane is and the precautions that we need to take. The four sides of this chart give us four very important pieces of information. On the left hand side you can see that it tells us the wind speed approximately of the storm. On the top you'll see that it tells us the approximate storm surge in feet. On the right hand side you can see that it tells us an approximation of the damage level that we can expect. And across the bottom you'll see the air pressure in millibars which tells us how strong the storm really is. First let's take a look at the wind speed scale. A category 1 storm starts with a wind speed at 74 miles per hour. And the storm continues to be a category 1 storm as long as its wind speeds stay below 96 miles per hour. When the wind speeds reach 96 miles per hour then it becomes a category 2 storm and it moves up the scale. As you get to the category 5 storm that's 156 miles per an hour or more in wind speed. That means the category 5 is the most dangerous and could have any wind speed over or at 156 miles per hour. Let's take a look at the top of the chart now on the storm surge. But what is the storm surge? We'll take a minute to find out. Storm surge is measured in feet. As the storm approaches landfall, the stronger the winds are, the more water will be pushed up or blown by the winds inland. This is the storm surge. Let's take a look at the chart again. You can see that a category 1 storm is expected to produce about a 4 foot storm surge. Whereas a category 5 storm is expected to produce over an 18 foot storm surge. Naturally a 4 foot storm surge would produce just minimal damage. But an 18 foot or more storm surge would be catastrophic. The categories in between produce varying amounts of storm surges as noted on the chart. This is very important if you live near the coast and the storm surge can actually move up to 10 miles inland in some places depending on the geography and where you're located. The storm surge is really an indication of the amount of flooding that will occur along the coast and flooding is one of the most devastating disasters that can happen. We'll look at these damage levels one at a time so that we get a good idea of what each one means. A category 1 hurricane with winds between 74 and 95 miles an hour usually produces no significant damage to building structures. Damage is primarily to unanchored mobile homes, shrubbery and trees. Some damage can occur to poorly constructed signs and other things that could be blown down. Also some coastal flooding can occur and minor pier damage. A category 2 hurricane with winds between 96 and 110 miles an hour. Generally damage roofing materials, doors and windows of buildings. Considerable damage to shrubbery and trees with some trees blown down. Also there can be considerable damage to mobile homes and anything that's movable or could be blown over. Coastal and low-lying escape routes can be flooded two to four hours before the arrival of the hurricane center. And small craft and unprotected anchorages can break their moorings. A category three hurricane with winds between 111 and 130 miles per an hour can do extensive damage. That means structural damage to small and larger buildings that are near the coastline. Damage to shrubbery and trees with even large trees being blown over. 
Mobile homes completely destroyed. Low-lying escape routes may be cut off by rising water three to five hours before the arrival of the center of the hurricane. Flooding near the coast will destroy small structures. Larger structures will receive damage by the battering waves and the floating debris. Terrain lower than five feet above sea level may be flooded as far inland as eight miles. So evacuation of low-lying areas is very important. A Category 4 hurricane with winds between 131 and 155 miles per hour can do extreme damage. That means damage to almost all structures. Roof failures, trees, shrubs, signs all blown down. Complete destruction of all mobile homes. Extensive damage to any doors or windows. Low-lying escape routes may be cut off by flooding three to five hours before the arrival of the center of the storm. Major damage to lower floors of all structures near the shore. Terrain lower than 10 feet above sea level may be flooded requiring a massive evacuation of residential areas as far inland as six miles. This type of storm is extremely deadly and dangerous. Don't wait, evacuate early if you live near the coast and you're going to be a victim of one of these storms. A Category 5 hurricane with winds greater than 155 miles per hour will likely produce catastrophic damage. Roof failures and structural failures of both residences and industrial buildings. Small buildings may be blown completely away. Trees, shrubs, and signs will be destroyed complete destruction of all mobile homes, severe and extensive window and door damage. Low-lying escape routes may be cut off by rising water three to five hours before the arrival of the center of the hurricane. Major damage to lower floors of all structures located less than 15 feet above sea level and especially within 500 yards of the shoreline. Massive evacuation may be required of residential areas on low ground within 10 miles of the coast. Only three Category 5 hurricanes have made landfall in the United States since records began. These Category 5 hurricanes are extremely dangerous. Don't take chances. Leave early. If you live near the coast, visit the National Hurricane Center's page regularly to get updates on any storm activity during storm season. Learn where you live on the track maps. Learn to read the tracking map so that you can get the most warning possible. This is the address for the National Hurricane Center. Visit this page regularly for updates if you live near the coast. We hope you enjoyed this program. To learn more, visit www.readyforanythingnow.com.